Thank you. Um, all right. Hi, Matthias. Uh, and I will give you a few minutes to talk about Future Drome and the next level of Future Drome, who is called the Borderland. And in the end of this talk, I will invite you all for a lounge, for a Borderland lounge tonight at six o'clock, close to Medborgarplatsen. All right. Future Drome was a kind of mega mashup. It was a music festival, an art happening, a live action role playing game, a movie making, and an online community. And uh, um, actually, we built, we built a kind of Mad Max city in, uh, in a quarry or a day mine in Westergötland. Uh, you can, yeah, there is a guy here, and it's a pretty amazing place. It's 30 meters from here to up here. And actually, it took us a month to build this city of 200 tons of iron crap and plastic. Uh, but the story was about, it was a future story. Uh, 500 years from now, um, after the doom, there was just a few people still alive, and they live in the outside region of the world, in a desert, in a city called Drome City. And Drome City was ruled by a queen. Uh, and there was one role in this city. You have to party. If you don't party day and night, you get caught by the clown uh, police squad. <laughs> so people were partying day and night. And there was even people who have been partying that hard for that long time. So they become, you know, moving backwards. <laughs> Uh, for the development for the um, development of the humanity, so they be become party animals. So, right here you can see a grasshopper, uh, and here is a monkey, <laughs> and this is a badger. But after a while, in all these kind of stories, and uh, you know, in in. In the city, there was a resistant movement, and uh, they called for a savior from outside the city. And he uh, started the, a mission, a mission to, to tell everybody in the city that uh, this city is just ruled by an art artificial I intelligence. Uh, this, is a, ah, this is a play. You have to stop party. Party. And um, uh, the queen is, uh, yeah, uh, it's just, um, she's a slave as well as you. And after a while, uh, the uh, savior and the queen got a relationship. And, yeah, the revolution was in inevitable or in unavoidable. Uh, avoidable a uh, wire bail. Uh, Oundervikelig. Please, thank you. <laughs> and people, you know, started to um, open the animal cage and they starting to fight, and the animals get really, you know, upset and angry. And after a while, people start to cry. Oh God, is this end? Is it? This is the end of the party and <laughs> and the queen took a decision we have to tell everybody the lie that you are a slave you're a party slave and give freedom to to everybody but the problem was <coughs> that the queen took the decision one day before it what meant so from a, a script direc director perspective or a director perspective, script writer perspective, we, oh, it was, you know, 
The play is living its own life. God, they are stopping the LARP too early. And, but, and, and the second problem was that just a half of the 1,500 people understood or got the revolution. And so, you know, the last night, <laughs> half of the group thought it was a LARP and half of the group thought it was not a LARP. And everybody got, got the shit of, you know, caring who you are. And that's a seed, uh, or that's the seed for our next level, our next project called the Borderland. This is a new nation. Uh, and this, in this nation, you can be whoever you want to be or, and do whatever you want to do. Actually, right now, we are handing out passports. Uh, so you will meet some other guys who will take the decision to emigrate. Um, yeah. Just a few passports of people who want to emigrate into, yeah. The borderland. And uh, actually, the borderland will be uh, uh, is a nation without a physical territory right now. It's a virtual country. Uh, so, this borderland, this nation will be um, uh, online. And uh, actually, uh, like every country without a physical territory, we will have a strong party culture, you know. Festivals, nightclubs, meetings, having, doing action in, uh, in streets and backyards. And we think one person's dream is just a dream. Several person's dream a beginning of a new reality. And the first festival will take place at Ravelunda in the very south of Sweden. It's a wonderful place. This is the spot. And uh, it's next year, 2011, but we are prototyping right now, so you can... Ah, this is just what we want it to look like. And tonight, the Borderland Lounge. From 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock, place at Coffees uh, at Sheriffsgatan, Östergötagatan. Activities, talk and drinking beer and wine. No embarrassing interaction. <laughs> but you can apply for a passport if you want. Thank you. <laughs>